ChuckSports.com. Hey, welcome to our latest HoopCast. Uh, Kevin Brockway and Pat Dooley, the Gainesville Sun. Of course, Florida winning again, Kevin. They are now four straight that they have won. Uh, I think everybody, after they started 0-2, kind of look at that, looked at that four game. Not the coaches and players, yep. but the, the media and fans look at that four game stretch and go, got to go 3-1 and one minimum. To go 4-0, and oh, I think they did a good job. Yeah, and a very impressive way they won last night. You know, building that lead and maintaining that lead. I mean, there were a couple of times that Georgia cut it to single right. digits in the second half, but for the most part, Florida was in control. I mean, they really did it with, uh, you know, obviously balanced offense, you know, three guys scoring 20 or more, led by Tyus with 23, Irving Walker and Kenny Boynton, 21, and, and Walker is still red hot, 23 for yeah. 36, an ICC play from three-point range. I mean, you're talking about, uh, you know, a, a pretty amazing shooting stretch for him. Well, I, I wrote about the fact that everybody's been saying all year they need a third score, that it can't always, you know, if you got Boynton, you got uh, uh, Walker, but you needed a third guy you could kind of go to. And it seems like Tyus is that guy. 11 straight games and double figures, and over that stretch he's averaging, I think, 14 and a half points a game. So uh, he's kind of hitting it at the right time. Yeah, you know, he's developed that consistency. He's obviously got the mid-range jumper right now. He's finishing a little bit better inside. And, uh, you know, I think obviously the move to power forward, the move to that natural yep. position is really helping him out a lot. He's got better matchups, uh, on both on offense yep. and on defense. And I think it took him a little while to get comfortable in that as well. Uh, you know who he is, really, though? He's Riley Cooper. Because <laughs> just all you can do is think about where would Florida be if Tyus had left, which he was going to leave for, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, it was about a 48-hour thing. And then he went back to yep. St. Louis and, uh, you know, just decided, had second thoughts, felt like he kind of missed a place, missed the campus, and decided... Uh, to give it another shot. And I think, you know, obviously the position thing is the main issue. Right. You know, moving from center to power forward really has helped him out. And, you know, he hopes they'll help him in the next level as well. Yeah, he told me, he said, I, I didn't even feel like I was ever gone because <laughs> he, he, he was, it was such a quick turnaround. But obviously the Gators get it done. Another, you know, I tell you, we keep watching these guys come in here or, where, or wherever it is um, and, and very impressive performances in this conference. Uh, Trey Tompkins is a big time player. Yeah. And, and McPhee last night was just, I mean, every time he shot, he went, this is going in. Um, so I, I've said this before, Kevin, I think the SEC East is as tough as there is. You know, everybody will point to the Big East, and, but when you've got 85 teams to choose from, you're going to have eight or, eight or nine pretty good ones. But you think Georgia is easily the worst team in the East, and they're dangerous to play. And we saw what South Carolina did to right. Kentucky earlier in the week, canning them their first loss at Devin Downey. And, uh, you know, I think Georgia is much improved. Um, you know, obviously had some deficiencies on the defensive end of the mm -hmm. floor. Just yeah, let, yeah. let Florida get too many easy baskets. But they don't handle the ball real well. Either, uh, yeah. yeah, and obviously Florida's press was very effective, you know, with the, uh, with the turnovers, 19 turnovers, forced 33 points. But offensively, you're talking about a very good team. And, and Travis mm -hmm. Leslie, and I think what happened was, you know, they zoned and they had, so, you know, put so much attention and emphasis on stopping Leslie from penetrating mm -hmm. that, you know, McPhee had a lot of wide open looks and he knocked him down, five of eight from three point range. Kind of reminded me of, of Lee Humphrey a little bit, a guy that just spot he up did. and shot, you know? Although he's, he's got a little more than Humphrey because he can hit that fall away as well. But uh, he's nowhere near the defender Lee Humphrey <laughs> was. Uh, the Gators, of course, go now to play Tennessee. The, things kind of get interesting now, Kevin. Now we see what this team is made of. We know they can beat the, the Georgias and the LSUs and the Arkansas uh, of the uh, SEC, but now they go up to Knoxville. Of course, the Vols are reeling a little bit, two straight losses, and the, the Vandy one didn't surprise me. Even though it was at Thompson Bowling, I mean, that Vanderbilt team is really good. Yeah, and I think because they were together last year, you know, you take a look at guys like Ogilvy and Jeffrey Taylor, all young, all playing together. You know, Jermaine Beal, a, a senior, is a really studying influence on that team. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, Tennessee's lost two in a row. But uh, I seem to remember last year, Florida went into Thompson Bowling Arena at 5-1 and one in the SEC yeah. in first place. And that completely turned their season around. You know, Nick Calaitis got in early foul trouble. They lost. So, you know, Tennessee, you know, desperate teams at home are always very dangerous. Right now they're a desperate team playing at home. Well, they are that. And the other thing that they, they are is... Um, you know, maybe feeling the effects of all the issues. You know, when they came back after that, the four guys were kicked off or not, or at least yeah. suspended from the team, and they beat Kansas, and everybody's like, oh my God, that's unbelievable. Well, now maybe they're feeling the, the lack of depth, and maybe guys are wearing out a little bit. Um, and I'm curious to see what the crowd's going to be like. I mean, it's going to be, believe it or not, it's going to be snowing up there Saturday. <laughs> and, you know, you never know. People can say, you know, I watched this team lose two in a row. I don't know what. I, so it may not be the uh, sellout crowd that you normally would would expect and uh, you know how vocal they're going to be it's still the Gators most hated team in all sports so I'm sure they'll be up in uh, full um, 
throat for I think game. Florida national TV, I think that'll that'll yeah. get him juiced up a little bit. And if the snow, the snow is supposed to, I think, clear up by Saturday night. So if it does clear up, you know, I, I think you'll still see a decent crowd. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, you know, Tyler Smith, obviously, he's been a Gator nemesis mm -hmm. throughout his uh, entire career. So, I mean, losing him, I mean, they lose a little bit inside. You know, Wayne Chisholm obviously takes on a much more important role in rebounding. And also, you know, they haven't reinstated Brian Williams yet, who is that big backup uh, center, that space heater. So, Tennessee a little bit vulnerable on the glass, um, but, you know, they still have tremendous athletes. And uh, if you, unlike Georgia, if you get into an up and down game with them, they're going to keep up with you. Why do I think Brian Williams is going to get reinstated Sunday at about <laughs> oh, 12.45 maybe? Yeah, exactly. Um, but, and, and he's a beast. But, you know, uh, Florida doesn't have anybody that can win match up with Wayne Chisholm. I mean, he's a unique player, but um, they, they haven't for, 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 you know, three years, and they've done all right. You know, I mean, they've hang, hung in games with Tennessee. Tennessee's usually won, but you know, I think this is a game that could be a, um, a, a season maker to a point. I mean, I, I'm yeah. never going to go in game seven of the SEC and go, this, this is your whole season on the line. But if they can win this game, I think people start nationally start going, what's going on down in Gainesville? Yeah, you know, and I think they'd be ranked, too. You yeah. know, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I'm an AP voter, and I would rank them. They'd be 16-5, you know, yeah. If they, if they did beat them, I would have them, you know, probably in the bottom end of the top 25, 24, 25. And that would, you know, obviously give them a little more national visibility if that were to happen. But I would think that they would have to go on the road and, and win that game, and that would make it five in a row. They'd get a little bit of a, a, a roll going there. Um, but, uh, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, even if you take a look at the RPIs, I mean, Florida right now, they jumped up to 62 but there are a lot of teams in the SEC that are in the top 50 in yeah. RPI. So, and, and that non-conference game against Xavier, they're 17. So Florida really has a chance to make up a lot of ground in the SEC if they play well from now until March. Yeah, we talked about this in the last HoopCast that you know it's not going to be easy the rest of the way, but it's not supposed to be easy to get to, into the NCAA tournament. But they're, they put themselves in good position. Kevin and I are both going up there. So we're going to both be in Knoxville, and maybe we'll have a Derek Dooley sighting. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. And uh, hopefully we do see snow. You know, Snowball we, fight or it something. It was yeah. promised to us in Atlanta for the <laughs> SEC uh, championship, uh, Florida, Alabama. And Kelsey was really disappointed that there wasn't any. But we'll be up there, and we'll see what happens. We'll come back to you next week and bring you a preview of next week's games. We'll do one swamp cast early because of the lateness of, uh, you got another Thursday, Saturday next Yeah, week. Alabama and then Mississippi State at home. Alabama on the road and Mississippi State at home. So, so we'll do one and preview both those games next week, and we'll tell you about what happened with Florida, Tennessee. Until then, Kevin Brockway, Pat Dooley, the Gainesville Sun. So long from the Sunshine State.